guys it is Arika Misha and today we are baking and Duncan Hines has come out with this new whole epic line um so today we're gonna be doing that this is my first time like I said they just came out with it so um this is gonna be my first time making this I'm excited y'all know I'm always excited about something new so look when I seen the box just look at the box the box make you just want to buy it and bake it Man, look at all that good stuff so it says salted caramel. Yep, it had me at salted caramel. Salted caramel brownie kit. It includes the brownie mix, frosting. Um, let me show you guys. It includes the brownie mix, frosting, uh, crust mix, and candies and pretzels. Ooh, gives you all of that. All of that. Duncan Hines giving you all of that. Look at that picture. I gotta show y'all. Now see, this is how they supposed to look when I get through, y'all. This is how they supposed to look. We'll see. If that's how they gonna look okay y'all know I'm gonna do my best child it'll be all right but I know these instructions on the back are a little questionable it's a lot of activity going on back here preheat the oven 350 okay that's easy grease 8 inch pan with Pam okay stir together crust mix two tablespoons of melted butter it's a lot going on y'all these instructions it's a lot of stuff going on here it's a lot. I read them. I was like, oh, okay. And this is what you'll need. Two tablespoons of melted butter. Two teaspoons of water. And that's just for the crust. That's just for the crust. And then for the brownie, you're going to need five tablespoons of melted butter. Two large eggs. Two tablespoons of water. There's a lot going on, y'all, with this. Y'all know me. I like to be. And you know what? I see here you can also make uh, little brownies. But, like, you got to go to their site for that. To get that, um recipe and you guys see here their new epic line fruity pebbles cake kit uh cookies and cream kit yeah they got a quite a few different ones i also got the cookie one but it wasn't this cookie one it wasn't this one it was a different kind of cookie like a rainbow cookie one but yeah y'all that's what we finna do it's gonna be my first time making it um and this is the pan that i got they said an eight by eight so this is my gotham pan that's what i got so we'll see how they come out y'all all right, let's go. Okay, so let's see what's all in our box. I'm gonna definitely try not to make this a long video because this does take quite a few steps to do. So, I'm gonna shorten the video as much as I can. Cause I don't wanna make it a really long video. Let's see what's all in here in our kit. Okay, first thing I see is our brownie mix. Make sure you guys can see what I'm doing over here. Okay, yeah. So we've got our little pretzels and candy mix. That's in there. All right, this looks like I'm going to guess. Caramel crust mix, it says on there. Caramel crust mix, it tells you. All right, so that's our crust mix. All right, and of course, this is our brownie mix. Yep, it says brownie mix. We got the brownie mix. See, everything's labeled like it tells you on there. Brownie mix. Okay. All right, and the last thing here, we turn the box around so we see the directions. And the last thing is our Duncan Hines Epic Caramel Frosting. Our Duncan Hines Epic Caramel Frosting. That's the last thing that's in our box. So we've got we've got all of that in our kit. So yeah all right so let's go ahead and get started uh first thing we need to do is um it says to preheat the oven we've already done that so preheat the oven let me move this over here yeah, this is gonna be a lot all right so preheat my oven to 350 i've already done that preheat oven to 350 uh, grease 8 by 8 inch pan. Hold on, y'all. That's my phone. I 
I'll be back guys okay guys life of a youtuber anyway all right <clears throat> okay so we got the oven preheated uh, says to grease our 8 by 8 inch pan with Pam we've already done that I've already oiled the pan okay so it says stir together crust mix two tablespoons of melted butter okay let me move this pan out the way because we don't need we don't need the pan right now Look. okay a little crowded at this table okay so let me make sure you guys can see all right okay so says crust mix two tablespoons of melted butter and two teaspoons of water okay this is our caramel crust mix let me get some scissors all right so let me go ahead i'll go ahead and get this uh prepared already guys because it's going to take me a minute to do it um so basically only thing i'm going to do it says to uh, the crust mix, two tablespoons of melted butter and two teaspoons of water in a medium bowl and to moisten and press uh, to the bottom, press to the bottom of the grease pan. So that's how I'm going to go ahead and do that and I will be back. Okay guys, I'm back and as you guys can see, I've got the um, breading, our caramel crust. I've got it uh, pressed into the bottom of our pan here, all nice and pressed. Don't want to mess that up, so let me move that out of the way. So now we've got to get our brownie mix together. All right, make sure you guys can see. Yep, our brownie mix. So first thing we got to do is get this brownie mix in there. Get the brownie mix poured in. And y'all know brownie mix always smells so good. Smells like straight up chocolate. Yep, that's what it smells like. Straight up chocolate. Chocolate. So, alright. So we got our brownie mix here. Wash my fork off. Okay, so we got our brownie mix. Okay. Okay, good, you guys can see. All right, so we got our brownie mix. And I like to just kind of take some of those extra chunks out. I always do this, especially when I make cakes. I do this with them as well. Just to get some of those extra lumps out of there. All right, so we got our brownie mix. Uh, two eggs. One egg, come on egg, thank you, okay, two eggs, let me get my hands washed, okay, so we got a brownie mix, two eggs, let's see what the box says, five tablespoons of melted butter, Got my melted butter here. Five tablespoons. One, two, three, four, and five. Okay, we got our five tablespoons of butter. Butter make it taste better. All right, so we got our um, okay brownie mix, eggs, melted butter. And two tablespoons of water. Let me make sure that's tablespoon, not teaspoon. Okay, two tablespoons of water. All right, let me go get the water. Um, let me see. Let me just let me just bring my mix. Hold on, y'all. Two tablespoons of water. One, two. All right. Add my two tablespoons of water to the mix, two tablespoons of water, or whatever. Okay, so we got the water in there, yada, yada, yada. Okay. All right, so let's get it mixed up. Get that brownie mix mixed up. All 
I love brownie mix. It always smells so chocolatey. Chocolatey. I love baking. I love cooking. If y'all don't know that by now, I love cooking and baking. I didn't always, you know. I didn't always. Like, I don't know. I mean, I like cooking, but I didn't really love it until I got older and got kids, you know. So. That's when I was like, oh. Yeah, I do love cooking. Because, you know, I had to cook for my family, so. The more I cooked, the more I fell in love with cooking. Alright, okay. Well, it's not as thick, thick as like other regular brownie mix. It's not as thick as, so that's good. But I guess it's like the more I stir it, the thicker it gets. So, maybe I shouldn't have said that. Alright. Okay. We got the bottom all scraped up. I don't know brownie mix. It gets thick and hard to stir. And I'm old school. I use my fork because I like to get in and make sure it gets done. Okay. Well, that look good, y'all. That look good and chocolatey. Chocolatey. Yes. All right. Okay. Okay, brownie mix. Okay. All right. It's all mixed up. Okay. Okay. Yada, yada, yada. All right, so what we doing next? Okay, so I have to pour the batter evenly over the top of the crust. Spread gently with a rubber spatula. Okay, y'all. Okay, y'all gonna be here to witness it. Oh, okay. All right, everybody move out the way. Let me get my spatula ready. Okay, all right, so. Make sure y'all can see. Make sure y'all can see if it's gonna be a disaster. So I'm gonna record it. Y'all know me. I ain't editing nothing that. Y'all gonna see just how I go. So I'm looking at how they're doing it on the box. And it's like they kind of let me just stir it a little bit more. Alright. Looks like they okay. Looks like in the um on the box, they just like put a blob, like put it in the middle. You know, like a blob. Put it all in the middle and then just spread it out from the middle. I think I'm going to use that technique because when you got that crust at the bottom, it's easy to scrape that up. So, all right. Let's see. That's how they did it. So, I'm going to try that method. All right. Make sure I get all my stuff. All of my mix, all of my brownie mix, all of my stuff. Y'all know I gotta get all my stuff. Okay, uh, all right. Okay. Okay. All right. Just kind of make sure y'all can see now. Make sure y'all can see this nightmare if it happens. All right, okay. Careful, cause see you can scrape up the um, crumbs. I think I'm doing pretty good. Just slowly take your time. Not so bad. I'm just doing it slowly, you know. Okay, okay. All right now. <laughs> Watch out now. Watch out now. One of them people names on the cookie show. Watch out now. I like Jida. I like her. The little Italian lady. I like her. Watch out now, Jida. <laughs> Ain't got no cooking show. I don't want near you. I don't. I mean, I love cooking and all, but I love cooking. You know how sometimes you love doing things, but I don't know. I love cooking, but a cooking channel isn't a goal. 
it's not a goal. I must tell y'all that. As much as I love cooking, it's not a goal. Um, I just love cooking. I mean, those cooking shows, I mean, they just seem like, you know, it'll just be too much behind them, you know? Too much. Because, see, me, if I have a cooking show, I'm going to need it to let me keep it real. And I don't think they're going to do that. I don't think the cooking channel is going to let me keep it real. They want to edit stuff out and change me. Uh-uh. You can't change who God made me. Uh-uh. All right. So, we got a little bit of chocolate left on the spatula. I'm just going to scrape it off in the middle there. Make sure we get all of my stuff. All of my stuff. Yes. Okay. All right. So, we done did all that, Duncan Hines. What's next? Okay. So, I done did that. Now, I got to bake it. In the center of the oven for 26 or 30 minutes until toothpick insert one inch from the edge of the pan comes out clean. Y'all know how you do the toothpick test. I do that all the time. Okay. All right. So let's go ahead. I'm going to go ahead and get this in the oven, y'all. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go ahead and get in the oven and let it cook like the people said on the box. 26 or 30 minutes, y'all. See, that's why I can't have no cooking channel. They're going to they gonna want to change me. It's my personality. All right. Let me go ahead and get in the oven, y'all. I'll be back. Okay guys, we are back and my brownie has cooled off and I just want you guys to see. You guys can see that, um, trying to, show, yep, you guys can see that nice caramel crust layer going on there. Yes. All right, let's go ahead and get the icing on this thing. Let's get this done. I taste this icing, it is really sweet. It's a caramel frosting, so. All I gotta do is just get my frosting on. I'm gonna do that real quick. I'm not gonna use the pretzels. The pretzels are a little too hard. I really don't want the pretzels on. They are a little bit too hard. So, I'm not gonna add the pretzels. I'm just gonna add the M&M pieces. Because I do not want those hard pretzels on here. They are too hard. All right, make sure I get all my icing, my frosting. Okay. All right, so we got all our frosting. Put that in the box with all the other garbage. All right. Wash my hands real quick. Okay. All right. Hands all nice and dry. Okay. All right. So let's get to icing. You guys can see. And I'm just going to take my spatula and just go across the top and just spread it around like I did my mix. I'm going to do it side to side like that. Just gonna do it the way that the brownie is going. I think that's the smart way to do it. it smells delicious. It's gonna be real good, guys. Real good. Wasn't as bad as I thought it was gonna be. It's the mixing and the all of that. The mixing and the melted butter and all of that gets a little bit much but that's the price you pay for being in the kitchen and sometimes baking can get very complicated make sure we got this all spread all nice and evenly and y'all see how fancy I'm making that look I'm making it look real fancy and I'm not gonna put any on the side just just going to keep the, the frosting on top. Oh, that look good, y'all. That looks really good. All right, I got some frosting on the side here of my spatula. Let me get all that off. Okay. Y'all see? All right, I'm going to put that away because we don't need that. Let me clean up on the sides. Clean that up. Get our plate on nice and neat. Got some 
caramel on the side here. Y'all know me, I am a perfectionist. All right, let me zoom y'all in so y'all can see. Ooh, look at it. It's really nice. Okay, so let me make sure y'all can see. Cause I'm gonna go ahead and add my little, my little M&Ms on now. Just gonna throw these on. Remember, I'm not doing the pretzels. Those pretzels are a little too hard for me. And I know the girls weren't gonna like them. Hard as those pretzels were. Ooh, that is pretty. That is nice and pretty. Make sure we get them all spread around here so it looks nice. Ryan got a few more M&M's here. I don't even think these M&M's because they ain't got the M on it. But they might be somebody. But it don't matter. It's still pretty. And I don't want a lot of M&M's on top anyway. It'll take away from the brownie. Okay, I got one more. I'll put that here. Okay. And voila. Voila. Magic. Alright guys, you see me do it, so you know I did it. This is Arika Misha. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on all my social media at Arika Misha. And don't forget guys, knowledge is power. Thanks guys. Bye.